um, I just have like a series of uh, ways of uh, patterns I see like um, uh, in the Bible. Mm -hmm. For example, Jesus appearing, um, appearing in the Old Testament. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, things like that. But not really have a, a, a solid question. Do you not believe he? Yeah, Old Testament. No, I do. Oh, well, I do fair believe, enough. I do yeah, I do believe, but like, um, I just want to like confirm with other people. That oh, well, that's fine. Yeah, yeah. if you read the Old Testament, so both all throughout the Old Testament, Jesus is God, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If you read, for example, Genesis three eight, he's called. Yeah. The, it says the sound of the Lord was walking in the Garden of Eden. Yeah. Now yeah. a sound can't walk, so yeah, that has to be God yeah. walking. Yeah. We believe that's Jesus Christ. Yeah. There's things called theophanies. I don't. You obviously have YouTube, right? Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah. If, uh, if you look up Theophanies, yeah. there's plenty of uh, there's plenty of videos to show this. I'll give you a few. Yeah. In Genesis 22, for example, yeah. the angel of the Lord says yeah. to Abraham, Abraham's about to sacrifice Isaac. Do you know that story? Uh, no, no, I don't know. Yeah, Abraham's about to sacrifice Isaac. Oh, yeah, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah, okay. yeah. So, and then basically says, and then the angel of the Lord says to him, yeah. do not harm the lads, but yeah. I, for you have done what I've told you. Yeah. And then, but if you read the chapter 4, that says that the Lord told you to do that. Yeah. So the angel of the Lord is obviously yeah. a character yeah. who's God, yeah. but isn't the same as the Lord yeah. that's mentioned. And okay. if you read Genesis 9 to 24, okay. it says Yahweh sent fire and brimstone from Yahweh out of heaven. Okay. So that's two Yahweh's now. Right, unless you, okay. But we believe in one Yahweh, okay, of course, okay. but it's two appearances. Okay. So the, the Trinity is all throughout the Bible, but we call it Sophonies. That's why Jesus yeah. Christ says in the Gospel of Matthew that yeah. he has found the Old Testament. The scriptures speak of him. That's yeah. what he says in John 5. Yeah. So, <laughs> okay, okay. It's very expensive. Wait, can you can you repeat the, the, the one um, Yahweh sends brimstone? Oh, yeah. yeah. So uh, let, let me get my. Uh, so this is Genesis 1924. Right? Okay. Yeah. If you want, it's it's, very, it's it's during a time when Sodom and Gomorrah is being destroyed. Right? Yeah. Lot's family are being taken out of the town and basically. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Jehovah's on the earth. I want to get my nice. Sorry, did you want to be filmed? I, I don't want to put you on camera. Oh, no, you don't want to. Yes, All right. Yeah. Thank you. All right, so I just want to show you this. 19. So obviously at the beginning, it says, and there came two angels to meet Sodom. So before that, I just want to go yeah. before that, right? So Genesis 18, if you read from the top, yeah. and then go throughout, right? Yeah. You get to a point where the Lord's on earth, right? Yeah, yeah of course, yeah. And he's, he's appeared before Abraham, yeah. the tree of man. Yeah. So we get to this right now, and then two angels visit Lot. Yeah. They, 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 speak, they speak to Lot, and then he yeah. takes them in their house, and then certain things happen between yeah. the residents of Sodom. And then basically, as we get to 24, it says this, right? And then the Lord, so this, this, yeah. is, this is a translation. Then the Lord yeah. rained upon Sodom and Gomorrah, and yeah. upon Gomorrah, yeah. brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. Okay. So we know that the Lord was on earth, okay. so there has to be a Lord in heaven. Okay. And that's, that's a clear indication of the Trinity. There's also other passages where Jesus, where God says, us, yeah. we, yeah, of course, right? of course. and yeah. he's, he's always speaking to Paul, and it makes sense to believe in the Trinity. And um, the, the king knows it then. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, Melchizedek, yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, I, I, I never know how to pronounce that name. But oh, yeah, yeah it's um, good. Uh, also, like, what is he? He has no lineage. Like, yeah, no, um, he has no parents. Yeah, no parents. But yeah, yeah, Abraham gives him the tenth of his tithe, so he gives him the tenth of all he has. Yeah. And, he, and he's called the... If you, if you read what it says, it says he's called the Prince of Salem. Yeah. Now, Salem actually means peace. Yeah, yeah. And if you read the New Testament, Jesus yeah. is called the Prince of Peace. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. It's, it's all pointing to If you read the Old yeah. Testament, the Old Testament is pointing to Christ. People don't realise yeah, 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 it. Yeah, yeah. When Jesus Christ says the scriptures talk about me in John yeah. 5, he's meaning that the entire scriptures talk about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even even from the very first moment yeah. where God said in the beginning, yeah. God created heaven and earth, he, he said, yeah. Oh, what is, yeah, so he said, yeah, but yeah, in the beginning, God created heaven and earth, yeah. and he was forms that point, and then he starts to speak. Yeah. Now, obviously, God isn't speaking to anybody because there's nobody there. He's just created the, the heavens and the earth. Yeah, so that word we think is God or Jesus Christ. Yeah, of course. And yeah. if, you read, if you read John, yeah. it says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. John is mirroring what Genesis 1 says. Okay. It's actually quite beautiful. This is, this is why I love the Lord. It's just brilliant. Yeah, that, that's, um, that's what I'm saying as well. Like, for me, I like, I like reading the scripture and then just like, breaking it down. Um, that's why I just wanted to have like that confirmation that, uh, that Jesus appeared multiple times 
can I, can I suggest a few channels you could watch to, to get more information? So there's one channel called Shimunin. It's started by Sh Sam Shimun. Sam Shimun's, yeah, Sam Shimun's, uh, I'll say he's more like he's more like a, an apologist or evangelist. Okay. He does a lot of videos regarding age of the Lord. Sorry, man. Yeah. His, his channel's called Shamu Niyun. Yeah, that's that's his channel name. So if you look on YouTube, you see that. And there's also another channel, uh, Anthony Rogers. Anthony Rogers. Yeah, Anthony Rogers. And he also does a lot of things regarding the Trinity, regarding the, the Angel of the Lord in the Old Testament, New Testament, yeah. stuff like that. If you, if you look him up, especially, you're going to get a load of information about the Old Testament. The, the, the Old Testament is very expansive. Of course. It's yeah. very, and, it's, and it's brilliant how much time, not only God is mentioned as a word, yeah, yeah. but as sitting on the right hand of God. If yeah. you, it's Isaiah, yeah. well. Isaiah 6 as well, like the glory of Yahweh seated on the throne in heaven. Uh, and, and if you read John 12, right? Yeah. Jesus is, John literally calls Jesus the one who was seated on that throne. Uh, wait, where is it? Daniel 7, 13? Oh yeah, yeah, you're talking about the two thrones. So basically yeah. the Son of Man goes up towards the Ancient of Days. Yeah. At, sorry, Ancient of Days and yeah. sits beside him. Yeah, okay. that's Jesus Christ. That's what he does. He, at the end, of, that's what he does. At the end of uh, the Gospel of Luke, yeah. where he goes up to heaven. In yeah. fact, no, in, in, in Acts, sorry. Yeah. In Acts he goes up to heaven. Mm -hmm. And we believed him going up to heaven in Acts yeah. was the start of Daniel's prophecy. Daniel 7, 13, 14, because oh, he's going to see, he takes, he's taken up by a cloud, remember? In, in oh, Daniel, yeah, yeah, in Daniel 7, he's taken up by a cloud. I never, I never really um, deeped it like that, you know? Yeah, it's a prophecy, remember? Like, this is, it's interconnecting okay. both of those principles. Okay. This is how beautiful the word of the Lord is, man. I'm glad you can I, see it, man. I never really connected it like that, you know? Yeah, I know, I know it's, 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 hard, it's, it's hard to get the first one, because the scripture is very expensive, but yeah, yeah, yeah. once you learn more about it, it becomes easier. That's why, it's, that's why I told all Christians, look, right, Read the scriptures, they're beautiful. They really are. And they tell you a lot more. But also, like, I'm not, I'm not telling you to trust every man, but yeah. really, like, look into, like, how they execute it, and then read it for yourself, and then, yeah. Of course. Like, I mean, I do that as well. Like, um, like uh, I mean, I had a period of time where I didn't really believe in, in churches, in traditional churches, hmm. because most of the time, that like, those churches, Take uh, like scripture out of context. Yeah. And um, and even sometimes when you read the scripture, like, you know what I'm saying? Like so and then I realized that it's so dangerous to like literally look at one person and idolize that one person and, and making that representation of the scripture. Yeah, the scriptures of, of God or something like that. And, yeah, the, the scripture should make sense contextually. It should be, if you, you should read a place like, for example, gay marriage, for example, right? It should, if we're going to view gay marriage in the Bible and claim that that's what it teaches, then it should be taught all throughout the Bible. It isn't taught throughout the Bible, therefore it's not consistent. The Trinity is consistent because it's taught throughout the Bible. Jesus is God because it's consistent because the angel of the covenant in Michael, Michael 3, no, sorry, Michael 5 verse 1, is that same Jesus. And when the Lord says in Isaiah 40 verse 3 mm. that he will come before the messenger, mm. that's clearly talking about Jesus Christ because it's Mark literally quotes Isaiah 40 and he says that this is talking about Jesus Christ. It's, it, it, it literally, it just, it, it all weaves in, but that's the point. That's what God calls us to. He says in the, in the Gospels, right, we're to love our Lord, our God, with our heart, our mind and our soul. Yeah. Our mind is important as well. Yeah. And we also love the Lord with our heart mind, so we've got to read the scriptures and study them. Yeah. But also to learn from learned men who have studied them as well. So yeah, you should not idolise a church figure. Yeah, and I was just not to. Yeah, of course. Always, look, always go to the scriptures, always yeah. pray fast yeah. and seek for, for guidance from the Holy Spirit first yeah. before you rush into a church. Yeah. But at the same time, it is important not to forsake the gathering of believers because that's what the Bible says. That's all I'm saying. So uh, we, we, we have to commune. But it's, about, it's up to you which yeah. church you find yeah. that securely places the Bible above everything. Mm. I go to a church in London, right? Okay. Oh yeah, another channel I, I would like you to read, if you, no, not read, but watch. watch yeah. If you haven't, Bruce Gore. Bruce, Bruce? Bruce Gore. Bruce Gore. Yeah, so he goes through the history of the Bible and the Reformation. Uh, where are these go for? Oh yeah, G-O-R, yeah, you got it, yeah. So like, yeah, he's, he's definitely, He's definitely one of those lecturers who goes through it all to yeah. show you the history of not only the church fathers, but the history of the Bible itself okay. and church history. Okay. 
so like because I used to deny the church fathers, but then I started to really look into the stuff, like and look at all myself. You say church yeah. fathers, you mean um, what the, the people that brought together the church, like um, what is it? How do you call it? Uh, the Cassel Cassilian, uh Church or something like that. When but what do you mean about church fathers? Oh, so, so I mean those 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 people who come after the the apostles. So those oh, who are okay. taught by the apostles okay. and then trained and then brought on okay. their doctrines. Now I wouldn't say you agree with each every everything they say because yeah. that's dangerous as well. You should never be with everything they say. Yeah. But at the same time, it's good to know what they believe. Right. Okay. My my favorite church of is Athanasius. Yeah. It's called Contramundum. Contramundum means against the world. And the reason why it was called against the world because he held to the truth. He held to the truth. He has been biblical. Yeah. But a, a, a whole load of churches at the time denied the Trinity. Yeah. But eventually his. His doctrine won out simply because no one, not even the Arians or the anti-Trinitarians, could, could even argue with his idea of what the Bible was saying. And that's why it's the most held doctrine today, and that's why it's biblical. <laughs> but I don't, I don't want to bore you with all this stuff, bro. It's been nice talking to you. My name's John. John, yeah? Yeah, John. Um, Zonde. Zonde, nice to meet you, Zonde, man. Where's John?